All right, let's finish with uh, a few exercises. Uh, now, in uh, the analytic combinatorics books, uh, the, uh, the exercises are not all framed uh, in, in the form of a question. Uh, they're framed in the form of uh, uh, information uh, for, uh, of interest for interesting application or something that might be pursued further. Uh, so uh, when you address those, uh, kind of keep that in mind. What you're supposed to do is uh, maybe fill in the missing steps. Uh, so this is one that uh, shows a, uh, a very typical application of analytic combinatorics uh, for coding. Uh, so uh, very often you have a, a structure, it's encoded in some way, and you want to know how many bits you need to encode that structure. Uh, and this uh, exercise talks uh, about uh, uh, how analytic combinatorics can help us figure that out uh, for uh, some application of interest. Uh, and uh, the second exercise uh, to take a look at, uh, 1.43, uh, it points out that, uh, as I was mentioning, uh, once you have the generating function derived through the symbolic method, uh, you can use that uh, to get information about the quantities of interest by computing with the recurrence. Uh, so uh, this is uh, an exercise that uh, has you take a look at that. Uh, so, so as assignments related to this lecture, uh, go ahead and read chapter one in the text. Uh, again, it goes into much, much more detail than we have time for going into lecture. And it's not expected that everyone understands everything on every page. It's uh, way too much in there for that. Uh, but uh, there's uh, definitely uh, worthwhile to spend uh, some time with every page for sure. Uh, and then uh, the good exercise to write up solutions to those two exercises I just mentioned. Uh, and then uh, programming exercises uh, that uh, people might find interesting. Uh, first one is, uh, what, so what coins should the government issue uh, to maximize the number of ways to change a dollar? Uh, let's say that's our goal. Uh, so, and, and you probably have to write a program to do that and use Pulley's method. Uh, or, and another interesting program is uh, the solution to that exercise gives a way to uh, estimate the rate of growth of the Cayley numbers or the partition numbers uh, by just taking the ratio of uh, h sub n over h sub n minus 1 and p sub n over p sub n minus 1. Uh, and uh, so uh, easy to write programs to do that uh, and that's a worthwhile exercise. That's an introduction to uh, ordinary generating functions for uh, uh, and specifying combinatorial structures at the same time.